Okay, this is Mystery Monday, and Mystery Monday is late. Okay, so Mystery Monday. It's, you know what, this, I just can't get into 2018. I just, it's not working for me. So, Mystery Monday this, this week is the uh, Republic of Doyle. Yeah, Republic of Doyle. And basically what this is, it's a, a private investigator, father-son type thing, based out of Newfoundland. Newfoundland? Newfoundland. Um, and an area called St. John's. Now, I don't know if this actually exists or not. I meant to look it up and I just got sidetracked. You know, there's there's only so much you can do with like a 75 pound dog in your lap. Um, or a 50 pound, you know, or a 15 pound. You know, it just, there's only so much you can do. So, but it's based out of there. Um, it's got beautiful scenery. I will say it's beautiful scenery. I love the houses. I wouldn't mind living there. I mean, it's a gorgeous place. And, uh, but it's this uh, father and son private investigator office that um, the father's girlfriend were, help works in there. Um, got a couple other people, including the granddaughter, you know, and uh, it goes through them just, you know, solving these cases. And the son, who is named Jake Doyle, he gets beat up a lot. I mean, I mean like a lot, a lot. He gets beat up in like every episode. Even if he doesn't get punched in the head, he's getting punched in the neck, slapped. I mean, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's just like you basically watch the watch the show and wait to see how long it takes to get into it before he gets hit, and it usually doesn't take that long. Um, to the point where you know he ends up in the ER constantly, which is where his ex-wife works. Um, so, and that that in the first first little bit of the series is like a major like chaos and and everything because him and the ex-wife at the t first time when they start out in the show they're not exes they're still together kind of they're not divorced it's still like that and there is like such drama and upheaval between those two it's like chaos screaming hitting throwing stuff yeah you know, it's just nuts and uh back and forth with him and other women because I mean he is like all of he takes his clothes off in the show <laughs> upside he's good looking so I mean you don't mind him taking his clothes off so you know and uh, I don't know it's just it's a very good show good mysteries because I mean there's some of the stuff that you're you watch it and you're thinking I think I know and then you're like oh no, I didn't know that. I can't believe it was that. Oh, look, he took his clothes off again. Yay. So, yeah. The fact that he gets down to his shorts in a lot of these shows, it, it's really helpful. I mean, not to the plot, mind you, but, you know, to your viewing pleasure, it's very helpful. So, um, you know, and it's just like twists and turns and it... It's a lot of it revolves around like the family issues, you know, the, the relationship between him, the son and the father and the girlfriend and the granddaughter, you know, and there are two other siblings that you never really see. I mean, the one daughter, she was the one that dumped the granddaughter off so that she could go work and the other son has got like serious issues. Um, so there's a lot of very interesting things going on. So it's, it's, I don't know. I like it. And, you know, I've had it on my list on Netflix forever. Um, seriously, I I looked at it and I thought, oh, P.I. thing, you know, I'm, the lead actor is kind of cute. You know, well, I'll watch it one of these days. And then I was like, I never did it because I was just like, yeah, I'm not in the mood for it. Where are the zombies? You know, so it's my normal thing. I don't want to watch that. But, hey, where's the zombie movie? So... But yeah, so I never watched it, never watched it. Always saw it on there. Left it on my list on Netflix and just kind of just, you know, looked over it every time. So it was just, it was a little fresh. I don't know, I wouldn't say frustrating. It was just, you know, it was kind of just, you know, me being, you know, frustrated and not wanting to start watching anything new because, oh, it's probably going to be crap. And because there are so many shows like that. So many. Um, 
and so I just kind of stick with what I always watch but then I started watching this and I just started yesterday and I was like this is actually good it's funny but there are you know serious things there's drama but there's you know mystery and there's action and adventure and it's like you know okay I kind of like this you know and it talks about you know the US and it talks about Canada and I will be honest I am not completely clear on exactly where this is located in relation to like you know me I mean in the I know it's somewhere up farther north but at the same time I'm like I don't really understand you know map wise where it's located so and I should have looked and maybe I'll try to but anyway um, so it actually is a good show and I do wish I had watched it sooner but I'm glad I went ahead and watched it now um, it would be easier if my internet wasn't crap but I'm still waiting for the new modem flash router whatever the hell they want to call it so yeah um, they're great though I mean it is a great series um, there's a lot of banter back and forth between the, the characters and and I think that kind of adds a little bit more fun to it because it's not so just so damn boring and everybody's not so serious and or someone's life on the line you know they add some fun to it it's like oh yeah <laughs> that guy killed somebody apparently well, let's, let's see what see if he did or not you know and just move on from there so I, I do like that so sorry wandering through but anyway yeah it, it's a nice change of pace it's it's not like the other mysteries I normally watch it's it's kind of like the other mysteries I watch but it's just different enough to make it interesting so and it's like you know I enjoy that so I'll probably keep watching and I don't remember how many seasons are in it but But yeah, so, um, and there's something on the gate. There's something on the gate. There's a package on the gate. I didn't order anything. I have no idea what that is. So anyway, but yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting show and I, I will continue to watch it because I, I like the, um, the evolution of the characters so far. I really do like that. Um, you know, there's funny stuff, there's other, you know, there's serious stuff, and I mean, it's got a little bit of everything, and I really do like that, because there's a lot of stuff that you're just like, oh, no, can't do it, can't watch it, just no, just no, just no, just can't, so I really do appreciate the shows like that, where it's just, it's a little bit of everything, and it, um, I don't know, it makes, I think it makes it more watchable, maybe that's me, maybe I'm weird. I think it's pretty much a given that I'm weird, but maybe it's me. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I think that makes it more watchable. And I do. I do really like it, and I do suggest you watch it. Like I said, it is on Netflix. Um, Republic of Doyle. As always, I will put the information down below. And uh, just go check it out. I mean, even if you just watch like one episode to kind of just to see if you like it to where you might want to watch it later, yeah, just give it a try. As always, I will list all the actors down below. Um, like and subscribe would mean the world. Um, that's about it. Short video. As always, much love from Auntie in a very curious place. Stay for your sweeties. Bye.